You know what time it is. It's your boy Hammer Vong and welcome to Hammer Time Cooking. On today's episode, I'm gonna teach you how to make one of my favorite dishes, kimchi pasta. Why? Because it incorporates Italian creamy sauce and then you got your umami fermented kimchi. Mix them together and this is what you get. Now I can guarantee you, you will impress your friends and family at your next party. Let's get cooking. Today we'll use easy to find recipes found at your local Trader Joe's. You'll need spaghetti, kimchi, bacon, onion, petrino cheese, parmesan cheese, heavy cream, and butter. Always season your pasta water, that way your noodles have flavor. Right here I'm just using a half packet of spaghetti and I'm just cooking it till al dente. Let's use a grater and shred some Parmesan cheese. This recipe, it's gonna require half a cup of Parmesan. Pecorino cheese is made from sheep's milk and it's gonna elevate the flavors of this dish. All right, so all we have to do is add a cup and a half of heavy cream for this recipe. All right, so right here, I just have, I wanna say a half a cup of kimchi. So if you ever had kimchi, it has a nice, pungent um, umami taste to it. We'll take about five slices of bacon and we're gonna cut them into half inch pieces. We'll start off by cooking down the bacon. Right here we're gonna render out all the fat and create some crunchy texture for our pasta. You can see the bacon crisping up and getting nice and brown, and this is exactly what we want. So we removed the bacon and left the fat there. Um, we added some of the chopped onion, and we're gonna add kimchi to it, and what's happening here is it's gonna absorb all of that bacon flavor. I remember going to this Korean restaurant one time, and it was a Korean barbecue joint that had um, a cast iron grill. And what happened was one of the workers came out and she threw down some kimchi and added some cooked rice to it. And she made this crazy flavorful fried rice. So she patted it down, added some butter. And yeah, this is the technique I'm using here. Add the cold heavy cream into our kimchi mix. As you can see, it's starting to melt together. Make sure we mix it thoroughly, that way all the flavors combine. Let's continue to add layers of flavor to this sauce. So right here we're adding our grated pecorino and Parmesan cheese. If you don't know, Parmesan's nice and salty and then the pecorino is a mellow cheese but similar to Parmesan, but it creates a great balance for each other's flavor. So right here, we're just mixing everything together and you can see it's starting to thicken up. When it comes to food, for me, it's all about the sauce. Leave a comment below, share me your thoughts. I wanna know what you guys are thinking. And we finally get to add our cooked pasta. There we go, mix it all up. Make sure we get all the itty bitty, there it is. Don't forget, we season our pasta so there's flavor all around. Ooh, now we're adding some cooked bacon. There we go, we're adding some texture to this creamy pasta dish. I like it. I mean, since we got some leftover cheese, why not sprinkle on some more Parmesan, right? Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. And there you have it, y'all. This is the kimchi pasta recipe. Now, you know, it's my favorite part. The taste test, taste test. Now that's what I'm talking about. You got the creaminess from the heavy cream and the cheese coming together, right? And then, when you bite into the bacon, it has a good texture on it, so it's still crunchy. But the, the one that's different is the kimchi. Because remember when I cooked it, it really absorbed that bacon flavor. And once you bite into it, it just has this great umami bomb flavor. And that's the one that like steals the show. Now I'm telling you guys, make it at your next party. Make it for your loved one for dinner night. 
I can guarantee you this is a game changer right here. Make sure you like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and I'll see you again next time. Talking very much. Deuces.